so by lowering this value um, it will ha uh, the bigger distance will be from the focal point the more blurred it will be the particles so let's set it to one the render it and we see that the particles closer to the camera are more blurry and the particles um, at the focal point are clearly clearly visible and the one in the back one uh, one is uh, on the back it will be blurred again so play with this value as you want so I think it will not crash but lowering this value will uh, increase the calculation time and uh, maybe the memory used by Krakatoa because uh, I've lowered it a little bit too much last time and 3ds max crashed so make sure you have enough memory okay. so now that we know how to make deep depth of field uh, we can ah, uh, the motion blur I, I've talked talked about motion blur in the last tutorial so you know about it already let's say depth of field now let's try to make some shadow so let's delete uh, let's delete uh, one set of particles which because we don't need two of them uh, let's delete the file one delete this we don't need this anymore from a fix so I'm deleting it you don't have to because you may use it after that so let's create a geometry on which the particles will cast shadow so in Krakatoa 1.6 the shadow rendering uh, was simplified so in 1.5 you will need to uh, render the shadow map then apply it to the lights for each light uh, in the Krakatoa 1.6 this process was uh, uh, simplified and uh, it, it sold automatically rendering, renders the shadow map on the geometry so how to use it just go to your light like so uh, Set, uh, set the shadow on and make it a Krakatoa shadow go to the Krakatoa shadow sub panel uh, and uh, pick a save location just name it Krakatoa shadow so it will save for each frame a different file uh, set the resolution the uh, closer, uh, closer the camera to the, um, to the geometry on which uh, the Krakatoa will uh, cast shadow, uh, the more resolution you'll need. So let's set it to 1, uh, 10, uh, 24. Uh, sample count, uh, you need to increase this if you want uh, more quality and uh, spacing it depends on the count effect I don't uh, make a mistake so uh, spacing will uh, be the radius at uh, which uh, sh uh, shadow points will sample Uh, more dis distance will uh, look uh, more blurry but will work for lower resolution 
less, uh, if you increase the resolution some account, we need, you decrease this value to have more details. Uh, so on geometry shadow you can choose the map of the render of the shadow type you want to use. Okay, let's say ray tracing shadow. And uh, now let's go back to Krakatoa <coughs> and uh, check this button. Okay, so now let's render it. <clears throat> mm. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't enable something. Let's go to the Krakatoa. Uh, Krakatoa open. Uh, Shadow Explorer utility. So we have a spot Sorry, we need to save uh, to click save attenuation maps uh, in the Krakatoa uh, render dialog uh, So click check this shadow data saving uh, so this is for safe uh, self shadow, and uh, this is for for shadow maps. Anyway, let's render this. Okay, now you see that after rendering, uh, the light automatically loads the shadow shadow map. We can close this. Now, uh, after we've uh, rendered the shadow maps, you can render the, all the sequence. Uh, you can now change the render to something else, your primary render. That's, uh, for example, set this to default scanman render, uh, uh, to render a geometry. And if, if we will render it now, we can see the shadow of the particles. So Krakatoa automatically uh, adds it to the scene. Uh, now the typical workflow will be we make we'll make our scene, make our, our particles, uh, render our particles with the shadow enabled, like I've showed you. And after that, you rendering your uh, geometry with um, with Krakatoa uh, shadow. Uh, of course, it will be better if you uh, render this shadow in a separate pass, like ignoring our, our shadows and only the shadow from the particles, so you can compose it differently, and so on. So. That's all for now. Sorry for such a big delay and for my big uh, bad English. Goodbye.